the low group, that the, the strength mm -hmm. and the elasticity of gel is probably yeah. different. How do, do these change? Your, why not simply not take the one that gives more gel strength and take less? Does, does it completely change the structure? There are, let's say, for a certain application, there are limits, limits in, in, uh, in use. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you make a confection, if you make a gummy, if you go below 6%, then you won't have enough gelation power. So you need always to respect a certain amount of gelatin, but also the gel strength, depending a bit on the texture and the functionality of your gelatin itself. So in some applications, you will need a low bloom. For example, uh, in, in a fruit, a fruit gum, uh, a, a, tubi, a fruit tubi, if you use a high bloom, in process, this will never, will never succeed because your process is not able to use a high bloom. So for some applications, you will need a high bloom. Other applications, you will need a low bloom. And in the yogurt, what will you use? In yogurts, uh, this will be more than medium. So, so this one? Yeah. So it should work. There's a 175 here or the 225. This is the gelatin. So you have the gel strength itself. Very important in the gelatin is also the color. For some applications, in fact, uh, if you want a very transparent uh, application, uh, you will you will see that the color of your gelatin will play a role and will interfere with the colorants you use. So here we have a color variation of what we call two, four, six, and eight. This is in the powder form. If you make a solution of 6.67, then you have this color. So you can you can imagine if you have something which has a very white color or a very transparent color that you will see you will see difference. Another characteristic which is important is the turbidity. So in fact the best gelatin is what we call the 10 NTU and U stands for the developmental turbidity unit. So this is very very transparent and I think the worst production which can be made is around 100 NTU, which is still okay. So if for example you need a gelatin for a dairy application when you the milk was white, you don't care. You don't care about it. It's more than the gel thing that is got. <coughs> and these are all different types of gelatin from different raw materials. So I think they are all, all 200 blooms, but from different origins. So this is all bovine type gelatin. This is made by the lime height, so the alkaline, alkaline height the process. This is a mixed this lime and acid. And this is lined to bone gelatin. And already you see that for the same gel strength, you will have differences in color, only due to the process and the raw materials. Same for porcine gelatin. This is the pigskin gelatin. This is the lined porcine bone gelatin. Also here you will see a difference in color. And then you have the 200 fish gelatin. So if you switch, often for economical reasons, people say, okay, the bovine type is uh, cheaper than the porcine type, I will switch from one to the other. You can already have some nasty effects on color, turbidity, and whatever. And then on top of that, you have uh, the functionality. Can you see the difference between the bovine and the... Yeah. This is only to that. Is fishy. Fishy. You, you're, you can now touch, you can smell, you can open the bolt if you want. So people don't believe me when I say the fish is not smelling. <laughs> it's so fishy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Just try. The purpose is that you can push, you can take the bottle, so feel free. This is what they call workshop. <laughs> For the functionality wise, if let's say they are compiled or versus the bone, it will be the same functionality. Can you say again? The functionality for let's say is extract from the high and extract from the bone. Yeah, sure, the sure, sure. It's, it's, a, it's, not, it's not the same. So if you use an alkaline bone gelatin and if you use an acid high gelatin, the functionality will be completely different. Out the way. Which way? Which way? Just uh, bear in mind that there are still two other groups. So you cannot uh, tear it into pieces. Eh? But